Tonight, a federal government agency is weighing its options after recommending a major renovation of the Bridge of the Americas that would route commercial traffic away from South Central Paso. Ariana Para was at the meeting and joins us now with what's still to come. Ariana? While today's meeting was scheduled to provide updates on what could be the future for the Bridge of the Americas port of entry, we didn't hear anything that we didn't already know. Now, the main priority of today's meeting, they say, was to gather public input. We're here to support the federal government's decision uh, to recommend to get the trucks out of El Puente Libre. These companies would face significant losses due to the additional cost of diverting shipments, estimating between $120 and $180 per shipment. People disagreeing on whether or not the General Services Administration should continue to allow commercial cargo traffic through the Bridge of the Americas port of entry. Currently, the GSA has stated and now defended their preferred option for the modernization project would be to eliminate that cargo traffic completely. It's not just about you know, the, the port itself, but it's about the community. Something County Commissioner David Stout has been a large proponent for. Uh, the advocacy that we have done uh, it is we're, we're doing the right thing, I think. You know, it would reduce emissions or reduce pollution in this area by, by close to 35%. Um, that's a huge, huge uh, benefit to the people that live in this area. But a final decision has not been made yet. Analyzing the data is not complete. There is still a lot to do, and your comments do still matter. So keep them coming. Now the GSA will only consider written comments until November 4th. And while the public was encouraged to attend today's meeting, you can also submit comments online or through mail. We have a full look at that on our website. Go ahead and head there and click on this story. For now, reporting in South Central El Paso, I'm Ariana Parra.